There's a guy that the Houston Texans could have drafted. Some thought he was the best prospect in this year's draft. And I'm sure Jeremy Branham, who I guess was saying on yesterday's afternoon show that Will Anderson didn't impress him on that play where he blew up the running back to get the sack. I I don't know what it's going to take for you to get impressed by Will Anderson then, Jeremy. But uh, an interesting just thought based off of Jalen Carter, the guy thought to be the best player perhaps in this year's draft class. He has been cooking at camp and specifically in these joint practices with the Colts to the point that Eagles cornerback Darius Slay called Carter a quote, baby rhino, end quote. That is something we're going to be looking at down the road. I do think that it could have worked for Jalen Carter here in Houston. I don't know if the McNair family would have ever signed off on Carter, given the whole offseason that he had. Seemed like the remorse factor maybe wasn't where you'd want it to be, given his involvement in a speeding tragedy that seemed like it involved a couple of, uh, it might have involved alcohol with two people on the Georgia football team, uh, one a player, one an assistant dying in said wreck. Like, it's. It's one of those things where maybe that was a factor, but the ultimate player with D'Amico Ryans as the head coach, could it have worked here? Could it? It's going to work in Philadelphia because he's playing with a lot of veterans on that defensive line, and of course, they just went to the Super Bowl. And based off everything we're seeing, like really the only thing that seems like that might hold him back is if he does something dumb off the field. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's like the only questions about him was the like, is he gonna do something dumb? But like, there's never any like this guy can't play. Like he was gonna be the he's gonna be probably a top three pick if you know the Georgia thing never happened. He would, and so it, I think it's a little early to be like, yeah, because I mean I hope not. I hope that this isn't true. But he's he's still a kid. He can still do something dumb and get himself in trouble again. Like I that that's why he fell. It wasn't because he couldn't play. Yeah, and, and also yes, I think you bring up a good point that like. Basically, once that happened, I don't think the McNairs are going to sign exactly. off on drafting. But he fixes more issues on that defense than Will Anderson does right away. Just Immediately, it, yeah. Because of the kind of player he is. He's a defensive tackle. He's an interior defensive lineman. Your run defense obviously sucked on Saturday. Your run defense sucked last year. And I like everything I've been hearing about Will Anderson thus far. I obviously haven't been out at uh, training camp practices. But he has an incredible first step. And... I thought he was impressive on that play where he blasted through a Dolphins running back and still made the sack. Like, you still get slowed down when you run through a human being, and he yeah. still was able to power through and get the sack. Of yeah, it's also like the pl- he wasn't unblocked. The play was designed for him to get blocked by the running back, and he <laughs> sent him into the turf. <laughs> Actually, the natural grass. Yes, the natural grass. Thank you. It's very natural. You don't want to. It's not. It's not the pallet grass system though that you had at NRG Stadium before.